On the last day of 2020, Harris uploaded a video to his Alpha Gaming channel titled, I'm ending my 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel. A clickbaity title for sure, but a great one. Immediately, Harris fans around the world felt their hearts sink. Is this dude really quitting YouTube? I mean, hey, I was asking myself that too, immediately. After watching the video, it's clear Harris is in fact not leaving YouTube, but he's building what he calls Senpai HQ, something he's been nodding towards for a while and I'm sure we're all aware of. Senpai HQ is a recording, a streaming, and a video studio. It's something built of dreams. Uh, I want one, you want one, I'm sure everyone would love to have one. Of course we can't, but Harris has one. And how is that all possible? Why now? Well. The answer is plain and simple. It's Streambeats. Streambeats is wonderful. It's genius. It is the solution to so many problems, but also the key to Harris to unlock things like Senpai HQ. Streambeats shows how genius Harris is in so many ways. He saw a need for DMCA free music and immediately hopped on. It's a shocker that no one else hopped on earlier, especially record labels. Record labels could very easily set up as a subscription service. We pay, we get music, no DMCA. They didn't do that. But Harris took that next step. He's given us free music that won't give us strikes, and that seems too good to be true. But it's the way that Harris has built Stream Beats. The way that he has built it is absolutely perfect, and it shows how genius Harris Heller is. So in Harris' words, let's talk about it. Let's make it very clear from the beginning, Harris is raking in the cash with Stream Beats. The only reason why Senpai HQ is possible and why it's possible now is because Stream Beats is pulling the listeners, the quote unquote views, and on top of all this, the cash. In his most recent video titled, Pretty Girls on Twitch Have It Easier, Ask Harris 5, released on 1-11-2021, he does say Stream Beats is his number one source of income. It's pulling in the big bucks. So how does all this work? Because we all know Stream Beats is free. So let's start from the legal side. This is the, you know, licensing side to show my credentials at least i went to school for music business i went to school for music recording all of that so this is where my knowledge is and i'm very excited to talk about this this is why i wanted to create this video it's because i'm always explaining this to people from a legal standpoint harris gives you me everyone anyone who uses stream beats what is called the master license and the synchronization license. And the sync license can also be referred to the sync license, the sync li synchronization license to the sync license. I think I got that right. Anyways, what a master license is, and this may be a little confusing, the master license is the license to the right of the recording itself, the actual wave or the MP3, that final master is what they call it in the music world. So for example, let's take Hey Jude by the Beatles, right? there is a actual uh copyright license for the the chords and there's a separate one for the lyrics but for the simplicity of this video we'll say it's one license the actual composition has one single license they take that composition and they take it to the studio and they hit record and they record the song and that recorded material of the written material that recorded material that is where the master lays that master license lives. So let's say I go record a copy or a cover of Hey Jude and you do it and Harris and Ryan King are like, let's cover Hey Jude. That master license would be each of those different recordings, but the composition license would be, be the same. We're not gonna get into that. But what's going on here in the world of stream beats is Harris is giving you these songs and he's also with it, hey here's the master you own this song this actual master recording more or less on the other side the synchronization license what a what a sync license is a sync license is a license that allows you to use a song with visual accompaniment and and you know what that really means is 
you get a sync license for Kanye West's All Mine, for example. And you are now allowed to use that song in your movie. And you may get a sync license for 45 seconds of the song, including the chorus and the second verse. And it may cost you X amount of dollars. But if you want to use the entire song, it's going to cost you X plus X plus X amount of dollars. My point here is, Harris also gives you the sync license at zero, zero cost. And you can go look online in the master sync agreement license thing he gives you on the stream beats website it does say you have full use of this song for zero royalty fees for free what's going on here is he's giving you the sync license and now you have the sync and the master and honestly you don't need these licenses you don't have to have them on your computer you don't have to have them like in your video posted but you have access to the actual legal document and that is only for in case you accidentally get DMCA, you can send that in and hopefully get it resolved. But the real magic is in what Harris has done to stop YouTube, Twitch, whoever from actually DMCAing you for using his music. But before that, let's talk about how Homeboy here makes money. And it's really simple and it's really easy. And this is why I just want to get into it really quick. It's simply streaming. Harris is pulling 1 million give or take listens on his Spotify alone per day. That's a lot of listens, that's a lot of money. He's making this money too, I just want to point out when he's asleep, this is passive income. Dude's a genius. Harris knows, Harris knew that if he removed the DMCA in return for more people being able to use his music in a simpler, more easy way, he'd make it up in Spotify and he was totally right. So really quick, let's slide into how the DMCA works. DMCA is a legal licensing agreement law passed by Congress in the, I wanna say the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Essentially, it's to protect music rights and essentially how it works is Spotify or not Spotify, YouTube or Twitch or whatever will use um, waveform analysis or song recognizing, you know, algorithms and they will strike you you get a strike, you get three strikes and you're out, but once you get a strike that your YouTube video, for example, is no longer monetized and all the money goes to the record label. So yeah, Harris just completely circumvented this and that's how you're able to use it for free. You don't need the licensings on your computer or in your video. You don't need to link them. You don't need to do anything. The only reason Harris gives you access to the license document at all is just in case you accidentally get DMCA for some whatever crazy reason. You just send that license in, problem solved, boom, done, move on. So we've covered licensing, we've covered how Homeboy Harris makes his money streaming. Fun fact, if you download these songs and play them off downloads, he doesn't make money. He gets promotion, which is what we're going to talk about right now. Harris talks about stream beats in every one of his videos, more than once per video as well. It's left and right, stream beats, stream beats, stream beats, stream beats. I mean, I go to bed and I'm dreaming about stream beats. I hear about it so much, but I'd bet 100% Harris's YouTube channel, Alpha Gaming, is the smallest promotional corner area, whatever, of stream beats. And I know that sounds crazy, but right now, looking at the Alpha Gaming channel, as I record this, they have 480,000 subscribers and 217 videos. Let's say on one video, they get 200,000 of their subscribers to watch. That's 200,000 people. And all of those people go out and make a YouTube video or they go out and stream and they're using stream beats. That's 200,000 people showing stream beats to the world. And each of those people, let's say has one to three viewers. That is a ceiling of three times 600,000. And then it goes up to 900,000 if my math is correct. Uh, it's It spreads like a virus, it is exponential. And Harris here is making up the lack of money and DMCA strikes to his music and pure exposure and simplicity of use. It's absolutely genius. Harris saw a need and he filled it in DMCA free music. So kudos, 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 kudos to Harris and stream beats. I'm very excited to see where Harris is going. He says he's just beginning. This is just the beginning for him and I agree. This is really when the fun starts for him and in turn, us. So we're all in this together, get excited. So that's it, that's the video. I hope this explained why Harris is a genius, absolute business mastermind. 
capitalizing on Twitch and YouTube. Perfect time to do so with everything going on in the world. So yeah, good job, Harris. You're a genius. I hope you know. That being said, hey, if you want to come hang out, I stream every day on Twitch around 12 to 1 p.m. Twitch.com slash RayMX3. We play a bunch of fun games, hang out, we talk, all that good stuff. Uh, and to end the video, I guess I'll end it in Harris's words. Coming out.